Welcome to each of us. We're excited to be here. I'm excited to get to know these two. And let's get started with names. My name is Delane Hart Johnson. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. play football. And I'm a uh, redshirt junior. Um, my name is Chelsea Johnson. I'm from Riverside, California. I play softball here at UNM. So I pretty much chose New Mexico because um, Coach Bradbury came. Um, I played against him in the Horizon League. So I kind of knew like, you know, his style of play and everything. So I really, I really liked the coaching staff. And once I got here, the fans were amazing. So it was kind of like a, an easy decision, I guess. Where'd you previously go? Green Bay. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was his style like though? Like that you liked about him that so you choose here? Like what was your style? Um, he just plays really fast. Um, he's kind of like a, a running gun type yeah. coach, you know, and, it, and that's fun to play, you know, you, you don't you don't really want to play for someone that likes to slow down and run plays yeah. all the time, so. It gets exciting. I mean, that's yeah. how I like basketball. You got a running gun. I don't like the, that's basketball too long, setting up plays. Yeah. The guard got to pass it through, <laughs> pass the cut. No, I like the running gun, fast break. Yeah. Let's get the score up. Yeah, that's for all. sure. No, that's, it's pretty fun. What like, about you? Uh, me, uh, I went to Juco first, so it was like, and then it was, I went to JUCO when I was in LA first, so me uh, me adapting here, coming here was just like my high school coach knew Apollo Wright, that was our our quarter running back coach at the time. They knew they was close friends back at home, so he was like, "We need a receiver." So I knew I could come in and play right away here. So what made me choose here was that I know my talent wise that I could come in, make an impact on the football team and stuff like that. So that's why I really choose here, but. It was kind of weird adapting a little bit, but I had to get used to it. I mean, especially from where I'm from. I'm a city kid right in the heart of Philadelphia. So it was just kind of different to me to adapt to being out in the middle of the desert. Like, the desert is hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My first time seeing the little snow little snow dust ball going around, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's real out here. So it was kind of amazing to me. The altitude I mean, too. Yeah, the altitude definitely <laughs> get me. Right now, we back to working out. I'm, after the third suicide, we, we hurting, <laughs> so it was kind of hard for me. I get that. What about you? Um, for me, I don't know, adapting or why we came here? Both, you can say both. Yeah. I mean, for me, the reason I chose to come here is because, I mean, our program hasn't always been a top program, but I want to be the one to come in and, like, change the program, like, change the culture of the program, be a leader, be the one to, like, not be the only one to make it great, but be a part of the change. Yeah. And we're still working on that as a team, I think, and I think we've gotten better. But, you know, it'll be good to see how my senior year goes and everything. And I think the hardest thing to adapt for me was probably the altitude and just being away from home. I traveled a lot in travel ball for, like, softball. <laughs> but, like, it's not like you're gone for, like, a weekend and then you see your parents, like, the rest of the week, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's you're gone for, like, six months at a time. Right. And sometimes your parents don't come out to see you play because, like, it's an awkward weekend or like they have work to do. So, I mean, that's probably the hardest thing for me to adapt to, honestly. Yeah. I mean, adapting to me wasn't really hard because like I always traveled away for like a long period of time. So it was just like adapting wasn't really that hard. Being by myself wasn't really that hard because it was like I'm always by myself. Yeah. I barely, I mainly came to the world by myself. <laughs> so I might as well just be by myself and adapting for real, for real. So I it was think, just like. I think more so like my freshman year there was only two of us as a freshman class yeah. so like she she was from here and I was from California so she was always at home <laughs> yeah. so I was like always by myself and I didn't really like know the girls yet but like I like as the year went on like I made friends but it like the first few months was so hard for me because I was like I would call my parents I'm like um so when are you guys coming out and they're like Chelsea we just dropped you off like last week <laughs> I'm like oh yeah <laughs> no it wasn't even that. my parents are asking me when I'm coming home <laughs> when you come home man I'm like Never. I'm never coming home. I'm, like, I'm never coming home. I'm in college. I got my own place, my own like what I need to come home for. It's pretty for. nice it's now, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, what are, you, what are you coming home for? You got everything you want. You ain't calling them asking for money. So it's just like. It's true. You just out here by yourself now living. That you, now that as you get older, you're like, I'm not coming home. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Like, just living. Like, <laughs> got to work out. <laughs> it's obviously nice to see your family, but at the same time, like you go home and you realize that it's just, a, it's the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't really change. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, when I go back home, I really don't do nothing, like, <laughs> nothing. Like, see my family. After that, you see my family, you be there for go. a week. <laughs> you, you home for a week. You see your family for the first two days. Now, just, like, 
what's the next move I'm gonna do now? It's yeah. like, this is crazy. Like, I barely wanna go home. I don't need to go home no more. I just travel somewhere else mm -hmm. and then try to go on vacation go see and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, meet up somewhere else. But see teammates that live in different states. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it's crazy. So like, what y'all watch on Netflix out here? I mean, it ain't really nothing else to do. So if you ain't working out or doing yeah. <laughs> with your schoolwork, yeah, what y'all y'all doing on the spare time? Um, I watch right now. I'm watching Scandal. I've heard a lot about that. Yeah. My mom loves that show. Yeah, it's I pretty good. Watched. I heard about it, but I haven't watched it. I'll be watching <laughs> what do you Prison watch? Break. Prison oh, Break. Yeah, yeah. And I like the new series of Prison Break. It was it was kind of nice. It's either that or I watch Narcos. Narcos. I tried to watch that, but the captions, like, I can't read the captions and watch the show. At this <laughs> <point>. <laughs> I'm not a multitasker at all. It's, I just it was try so to follow, hard. Like, I just try to follow, but I don't really. Or sometimes we all, like. Half of our team got like Xbox Ones or something. We so just play, play, each other. play, play each other on the game. Play Grand Theft Auto. I don't like, get that game at all. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. What like what's what's, what's the, the point? I mean, like yeah. you're just stealing things and. <laughs> crashing I mean, cars. you can't do it in real life and get in trouble. You can do it in virtual life. So I think we I all mean, just go in there and shoot life. people up and stuff <laughs> like that. So I think that's probably be fun. Like we'd be like probably like ten to fifteen of us on the game and like. To like just one going after each other. <laughs> just going after each other or going after somebody else. I mean, it's oh pretty decent. But it's like, that's the only way we get through the day for real, for real. Just yeah. play the game or just do it really other stuff. Weights, like, practice, class, <laughs> Xbox. Yeah. Ain't really, oh, and homework, I guess. We got workouts <laughs> at 6 o'clock in the morning. We on the game till 1 a.m. It's just yeah. like, man, we'll get up. We'll, it's the same stuff, basically. But once your body get used to it, the workouts be easy. Yeah. So it's just yeah. like. True. I mean, it just becomes like schedule, like clockwork. But yeah. I just can't wait to the season. I, I like I like more season play than anything yeah. else, though. So season play is fun. Yeah, yeah, but, for sure. Um, I mean, how y'all year? How y'all plan? Y'all think y'all year gonna be this year in in sports? Um, I think we'll be pretty good. We have a lot of new freshmen coming in, so it's kind of a lot of teaching and you know just showing them the right way, I guess. And you know, the coaching staff they've been here for a year now, so. Um, they kind of have an idea too. How yeah. You guys work. Yeah. So it's. I think we're gonna have a pretty good year. I'm excited. Uh, what about you? I'm excited. It's my senior year. There's three seniors in my class, so it should be fun to see how we all work together. And okay. I mean, we can only go up from where we are. Yeah. Well, us mainly. We we talk about momentum every day. I mean, we definitely improved from the last couple of years. I can say that. First year I got here, we were seven to six. First bowl game, 2007. Last year, we was 9-4. Second bowl game, we won it. I mean, mm -hmm. that was good for us. Cool. Setting the momentum. Now, this year, just we got the momentum. We just got to continue only to get better, for real, for real. That's what our coaches like. I mean, uh, we, we work hard every day trying to say we, we, our next step is getting to the, the, the Mountain West Championship. I mean, we got a bowl game our second year, yay. That ain't really what we expect, but we're trying to get to a national – not a national championship, a Mel West championship for yeah. real, for real. So that's what we working gotta on right now. Gotta climb the ladder. Yeah, we just gotta crawl before you walk. I yeah. can see that. <laughs> exactly. You gotta crawl yeah. before you walk. So that's what we on right now. It's a good motto. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean. All right, guys. I got a question. <laughs> NBA Finals. I'm not a big basketball person, but I love Steph Curry. Warriors all the way. I'm sorry if you guys are Cavs fan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. No, I'm rocking with the light skin squad. I gotta go with the light skin <laughs> brothers, Curry and uh, Steph. I'm, I'm, I mean, Curry and um, Clay Thompson. I'm rocking with the light skin brothers. I mean, everybody was like, I don't know. What you think about the KD move though? KD going there. I mean, I think you gotta stick with your team sometimes. Like you, you, he did, I mean, he listen, did it just you, for the win. If you win, can't like, beat him, join him. That's all I can I say. If you can't beat went. him, join that's him. What I he mean, decided, I he's guess. tired of chasing the money. You gotta chase him a ring a now. Ring, I mean, yeah. you've been in the league what almost ten years. Yeah. So you might as well just chase a ring. I mean, that's it is. It was what it strategic. Is it was smart. I think. I mean, it's crazy that yeah. you join you join a. For three superstars already, you gonna make the four. I mean, it's it's gonna be it's that's crazy. It's hard but to it's just that like way. I think you could he should have built his own team and, and got one. But yeah. if you can't beat a team, you gotta join. Yep. I mean, yeah, so exactly. it's like it, it is what it it's is. True. But yeah, definitely a Warriors fan. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm good. Then. You know, I was getting <laughs> ready to get jumped or something, but I said that. <laughs> I mean, we can have a debate about it. I mean, no. it ain't hard to debate about no. the finals, though. I mean. LeBron, he's a good player, though. Oh, I he's just, a good player. He just, you can't beat four superstars. That's, the, that's true. the West All-Stars right one there. One against four. Yeah, yeah, that's the Western All-Stars right there. I mean, 
You got you got a couple All Stars on your team, but it's not like Kevin Durant. It's not the Draymond same. Green. It's not the same. I mean, they always they. The Warriors' whole five was in the st- the whole five was in the All Star weekend, so it was just like that's crazy for yeah. me, especially. Yeah. So it just it's pretty much like LeBron it. and Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like it's two against four. Yeah. yeah, so like one and a half actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy. I mean, do y'all think they're gonna get swept? Do y'all think the Cavs gonna win a game, or y'all, y'all think they're gonna get so. swept? I don't Is know. The next game back in uh, Warriors' place? No, it's at, it's at the, uh, Cleveland. Um, I don't know. I, don't know. I, think the war- I think it's done after the next game. Y'all think the Cleveland? Y'all, did y'all think Cleveland was gonna win last night? I was watching. I watched the first half, but honestly, I got kind of bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big basketball fan. I mean, I watch it when it gets exciting, yeah. but I was, I just was like, okay, I can't. I'm getting too nervous for that. Like, right. I get nervous halfway through a game. Like the women's college world series for softball. Yeah. Like I was getting nervous halfway through a game, and I stopped watching because I just couldn't <laughs> do it. Like I get anxiety, and That's funny. yeah. So I. I only watch basketball when it's finals or playoffs. So yeah. <laughs> during the season, 82 games, you won't catch me. But I only you, won't watch you, you won't catch me watching. I only watch basketball through the finals and the playoffs. For for real. that's all I watch basketball yeah. for. I mean, but anybody else got any questions? You got questions? You got questions? Um, you guys have a favorite album right now? I like Meek Mills as a rapper. So everything he dropped, I listen to. Yeah. So it just. Not only because he's from my city, it just I like the stuff that he he talk about. For yeah. Real, so I guess I don't really have an album. I don't really get just, like certain albums songs. Like, yeah, yeah. I just like listen to songs, and if I like them, then I've been listening a lot to that Cali guy. Yeah. Like his, I mean, his songs are slower and they're way more low key. Like they're not like hype up yeah. songs, but I mean, they're good. Yeah. No, he's he's pretty good. So. You probably have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> 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 that got me fooled. I'm lost. Uh, you never heard location. Yeah, I heard a little. Yeah, that's yeah. him. Yeah, okay. You that okay. Guy. Yeah, I listen to uh, Playboy Cardi. Yep. Magnolia, that's my yeah. favorite song. I don't think you gotta listen to uh, Magnolia. That's a good song. That's and a I good one. To that. And, and, and I think it's too. another one like Wake Up, Woke Up to something like this. That's another song he got. I mean, so what's your favorite hobby to do outside of? Oh, New Mexico, like you said. Outside of New Mexico, or sports, like, or sports like sports in school. <laughs> I'm just saying, sports in school. I don't even know. I I mean, I've honestly I've never been snowboarding. Like I've never been to the <laughs> lake. Like softball was my life, so I've yeah. never like found a hobby that I loved. Oh, I mean, I'm still searching for it, I guess. Right. I like shopping. I, I mean, shoes. like I'm super shoes. Shoes, so. <laughs> sneaker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like sometimes, like it depends on how I'm feeling. I'll go paintballing sometimes. No, I, I don't know, no, 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 no. <laughs> paintball, I like, I like that. I go paintballing, though. I may look tough, but once I get hit, I'm out. I'm like, all right, we're good. <laughs> I went paintballing uh, Saturday. It was me. I went, it was in Denver with my brother. I was up there for the Denver's summer, spring. summer, my spring break, my summer break, I could say. And we went paintballing. My brother out there with just a, a white beater on <laughs> and just no, shorts. No, no, no. I, I said, bro, you tripping. <laughs> I had a long sleeve on, sweats. <laughs> Man, I got hit right in my leg. It, was a, it gave me a big bruise. I said, dang. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, I don't know. I like paintballing, though. It just. I wrap me just, in pillows and some bubble wrap <laughs> on the <you're> out there. <laughs> it's fun, though. I like yeah. paintballing. I like yeah, paintballing. It doesn't but, hurt too bad. It hurts for like a or minute. Or I like rec ba- basketball. I like rec basketball. I don't right. know. I just, I just can't play real basketball because it's not physical enough for me. Every time, time, yeah, it's just <laughs> ten person. They call a foul. Right? Just, yeah, be- can't, can't drop a shoulder. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> can't drop a shoulder. It's just no. Nah, I'm just no. Nah, I'd rather play rec That's basketball. That's too much running. No. <laughs> yeah, it's I think football is more. I don't know. I think football is basketball. They run a lot, but I think football is just more just violent than it's basketball. Just explosion, yeah. quickness. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's up with the tattoo? Why'd you get that? Uh, I don't know. I just like lions. I guess. Um, I like the meaning of them, and I actually just got this one um, about two weeks ago. The roses and really the clock nice. and stuff, so, yeah. And I asked because I have a line on my, like, thigh. Yeah. I, it's pretty big. I got it for the what it represents yeah. and stuff. I love it. And I'm a Leo. I mean, obviously, astrological signs don't, yeah. like, mean anything, but I'm a Leo, so I was like, might as well. I've always wanted, like, something to represent myself, and right. I just felt like a line was the best thing, especially being, like, an athlete, you want to be a lion. Like yeah. you don't want to be a cub or like, <laughs> right. you know what I mean. Like yeah, you want to yeah. be tough out there. Yeah, lion hearted. Yeah, you know, lion hearted. <laughs> lion is the toughest in the in the in the jungle. So yeah. why not? I mean, exactly. I got 
I got a little lion and tiger on mine. See, Rock it's a lion and yeah. then a tiger. <laughs> I mean, that's, everybody got something in common, the yeah. lion on them. <laughs> but I got the rest of this is like, uh, mine's is like 215 is our like area card. My area code from Philly, I mean, the Philly P. I mean the our stat the Statue of Liberty the Statue of Liberty stuff I got. I mean and then I got like God's gift on the inside of my arm. I got prayer hands right here. Are you trying to get two sleeves or just one? <clears throat> nah, I'm gonna just go one. What about I'm you? I'm gonna go one. Just one probably. Just a full. Yeah. And then I just got the stat Statue of Liberty crying. I don't like Trump being our president. But <laughs> 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 gotta deal with it. <laughs> but and then that's mainly it. I'm gonna just try to finish it up though. That's going to hurt on your go. elbow probably yeah. the worst. Yeah. Everybody's saying it's going to hurt on the elbow, but I don't know. We're going to you're gotta toughen tough. up, G. You're, you're you got to toughen up, G. <laughs> <laughs> just used to a needle, though. Yeah. This, I just, but the ones I just got recently were just this. I got it all done. It took me like eight hours to get it done. I've always wanted wow. a sleeve. Really? Yeah, but my dad's like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it took me eight hours. <laughs> now, I can tell you, my, my cousin, she probably got like 40 tattoos. Like, she tatted. Oh she tatted up. My grandma don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> Why y'all get all that stuff? Does any body? grandparent like tattoos? <laughs> right. Why y'all get all right. What is that? Just, my mom, when I got my first tattoo, she's like, um, yeah, don't show your grandma yet. And it was on my shoulder, and I was wearing a tank top one day. My grandma goes, what is that? And I was like, it's a temporary tattoo, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. When, I, when I got this, though, I had, like, I got it when I got it. I think in, like, summer going into, like, fall, just the fall going into fall, so it was like I had to wear long sleeves going oh, around my yeah. grandma. It was just, it was kind of like hot. She's like, boy, why you hot? I got a long sleeve on. <laughs> no, nah, grandma, I just want a little sweat. Just get a little sweat. Just try to sweat up the stuff. Weight, yeah. <laughs> just try to slim up. Boy, then one day I forgot. I just went to her house with like no Sometimes shirt on. Sometimes you just blank yeah, and just, totally forget. Yeah. She's like, oh, I see why. You try to play me now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little tattoos. I like, from grandma. I said, dang. <laughs> She said, yup. And then I just left. I was gonna get bored when I left from home, but it was just I ain't, Timing wasn't right. Yeah, the timing mm -hmm. definitely wasn't. You gotta right. you gotta definitely plan out a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my thighs took like six hours. It was insane. I bet that hurt too. Yeah, well he started the outline in like the two and a half hours. Like I tried to act tough. He was like, You're gonna want to want, want me to numb you later and I was like, Pfft. No, yeah. five hours I could see through this, and I forgot like shading and everything is the worst. Yeah. yeah. And he finished like the outline, and I was like, so at the two and a half hour mark, I was like, um, we're gonna numb me soon, right? And he goes, yeah, I gotta finish opening the skin, and then he numbed me, and I didn't feel anything for the last half. Yeah. And then the highlights, like you know how they gotta go into the highlights and that yeah. one needle. Yeah. I was like, please stop touching me. I really need to go. And he's like, I, I just need to finish this. Please, <laughs> just let me finish. I'm like, no. No, but my my shading was my shading was up. It was, I almost cried. I they gotta keep, know. they keep doing <laughs> yeah, it. Like, just the same <laughs> spot. I'm like, yeah. you serious? Like, <laughs> Y'all played. Good. Kept going. <laughs> yeah, it, he's like, why. it's gonna look so good, trust me. <laughs> That's oh, beauty as pain, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's your favorite karaoke song? Oh God. Um, well, for karaoke for me, for our team, we have like Freshman Idol, is that what we called it? And every newbie, even if it's a, like a transfer student, when our first bus ride, they have to get up and put headphones on, like beat headphones, and turn the music all the way up, and you can't hear yourself singing. Yeah. And for me, <laughs> the white girl in me chose a high school musical song. <laughs> 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 um, it was the bop to the top, the one with like, sh sh what's her name? Sharpay and Ryan, they're like, oh my god, I don't want to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're going to bop, bop, bop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, that. um... I went all out. I <laughs> sang the dance. I did the dance. I sang the song. <laughs> I, it's on recording. <laughs> no, 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 no. We will not. We will not. Freshman year is way, but way <laughs> gone. We, this is not freshman idol. But <laughs> it's fun. I mean, it's it's that's probably. That, I mean, I would have done Fergalicious, obviously, but I didn't think of it until after, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's my karaoke experiences. Do you guys I have anything like that? I don't think I have. With our team, <laughs> we just oh, eight. Whoever's just feeling the song. No, <laughs> the newbie or our team, we don't really do a, a um a karaoke thing. We do like a little talent show for our little team. Oh, thing. I think yeah, I our think, newbies yeah. gotta do like a talent show and stuff like that. We did when mine's we did it was, I, it was a couple of us. We did the Jackson Five thing, the little <laughs> scene from Jackson Five. We slide in, slide out. We just all slide in, slide out. Then we just did the it's little more about steps. the dancers. Yeah, than we just did the little steps, but. <laughs> 
everybody, but at the end, they just start throwing paper and stuff at oh. <laughs> <laughs> Start throwing paper and stuff. So no matter how hard you was, try, you always gonna get booed. Yeah. yeah. So it was, <laughs> our, my experience, it was, it was cool. My, but I don't really like karaoke like that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I don't mean, I wouldn't go up in front of random people. I just do it in front of my team. <laughs> no, yeah. Have them hold it against <laughs> me forever. That's okay. No way. Well, but, were you here for the, um, you were here for the barbecue, right? You know the barbecue at the beginning, at the beginning of the year? Like the, do for like all the, the athletes? Like the athletes athletes and and yeah, you could do the talent yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. No. Did you do that? Nope. No. No. That would be by herself. Won't catch me. <laughs> won't, catch no, won't catch me out there doing that. No, no I, my, my teammates were like, oh my gosh, all the seniors should do it next year. I was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll make the freshmen do it. That could be their freshman idol. Right. <laughs> In front of all the athletes. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. That'd be crazy. I mean... What kind of initiation does basketball have for incoming? Initiation None is really. Amazing. I <laughs> guess their initiation is like our first practice, not really our first practice, our first workout. Like if we play one on one or something, like the older people just try and like take it at them oh. and kind of like let them know like how it is, you know. <laughs> and I guess that's really all we do. Let them see what they got to deal yeah, with. Yeah, you know. But we don't do like karaoke or a talent show or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, we, we, we do a talent show community service we do a lot yeah we do a lot of community service yeah especially it's it's like 120 of us so yeah there's a lot yeah <laughs> that's crazy it's it's rough just it's funny you might think you know like every athlete and then I'm like oh that's a football player and you're like, like oh, yeah. oh i've never seen him before <laughs> that's how i'll be they'd be like he on the football team i'm like huh <laughs> i've never seen what? him <laughs> he in the locker room work i've never seen i don't even know his name yeah. Yo, get to be, i don't know his name so there's just, a lot of athletes just be crazy I mean, yeah, Regardless of the sport, there's a lot. Especially right now, we barely, like, as With a workout group, freshmen, we yeah. broke up in, like, workout groups. So it's just, like, we barely would see who the newcomers really are and stuff like that because we all at different times and stuff. So, like, basketball is 15 people, so y'all yeah. practicing at one time, yeah, working right. out. Same practice, yeah. same stuff. Right. But us is... It's one like separate times because there's so many. One group work out at six, one group work out at eight, one group work out at ten, and then we got I like a little one o'clock group. For sure. No. <laughs> I took a six AM every morning. It's really? two. It's, oh my god. It's, oh, it's oh, hot. Yeah, it's yeah, hot. Yeah, okay, it's yeah, hot. It's hot. I just got out of work. I'm like, And then you can go hot. home and sleep for the rest of the day. <laughs> six AM, you yeah. got class, you got online class. Six AM, you in the bed, got breakfast and everything. Yeah, six AM, it's over with. It's hard, like, when you have 6 a.m. workouts and then you get, like, that schedule and you have your weekends and you wake up, you're like, oh, my God. Like, I've had times where I woke up and I almost started crying because I thought I was late for weights on a Saturday. And then I'm like, oh, my God, it's Saturday. Okay. And then I, I can't go back to sleep. Yeah. I'm like, panic Nervous. for nothing. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, the only thing about 6 a.m. workouts is getting up to me. Yeah. <laughs> once once up I'm is, up, I'm up. Yeah. Like, I'm good to go. Yeah. But it's Getting just, up is the hardest part. You you, you hear the first alarm, boom, you snooze that snooze one. Snooze that for like 10 minutes. <laughs> get the next one, you snooze that one. Then you're like, all right, the third one, I really got to yeah, get up. I'm pushing it, it now. You got to so, run. Yeah, you yeah. keep pushing it. Do you guys hang out with like a lot of athletes? Like, Do you know athletes on other sports teams? Uh, I can say I know a couple. I ain't going to say I know everybody. Yeah, I, yeah. It's a lot of us. Yeah. So it's like, I, don't I mean, really know. I know like – the ones that I like when you come in as a freshman, you have like University 101 and like with other athletes. I know those people, but like usually I just hang out with my team and then like the people that know other people, we hang out with them. And like yeah. it's kind of like you kind of met like mesh together, but it's not like you really don't know. Yeah, the like yeah, you're like, oh, I know them because of them because of them. Like yeah. it's, it's kind of like a trickle down yeah. effect. It's basically everyone. like, well, with us, since there's a lot of us, it's like <laughs> um, it go by like. Whoever been here longer, for real, for real. So it's just like, see, if we all come in at the same time. Well, you come in first yeah. since you're the senior. Yeah. Then I come in, I start hanging with you. So you know people from your freshman year. And then, and then yeah. I know people from my my class, and yeah. we all just emerge together, yeah. stuff right. like that. So that's how we really do it, for real, for real. Yeah. With, yeah. Well, with football, yeah. I can say yeah. with football. <laughs> but there's a lot of us, so. I think there's a lot of athletes just, like, in all sports. So it's kind of hard to, like, oh, yeah. know everyone. Yeah. There's one friend I have on the soccer team. She knows, like, someone from every sport, like, and hangs out with them, goes out to eat with them. And I'm like, I don't know how you keep – like, I have trouble. Like, I know people's faces. Like, yeah. I can be like, hey, like, I remember you. But, like, as, as soon as, like, they say, hey, Chelsea, I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> you. Like, I know faces, but names, I, I'm so – like, I've had a lot of concussions in my life. Like, <laughs> memory's just not there sometimes. Yeah. And it's just, like, I'm just like – and she tries to introduce me, like, all at once. I'm like – 
Okay, we need to slow this down. I want to get to know you guys. Like, I, I trust me, I do, but it's just like too much sometimes because yeah. there's so many. What's your, your favorite movie? Well, movies. <laughs> Probably hard to pick one, but which I love the movie Step Brothers with Will Ferrell <laughs> and John C. Riley. That's a funny one. I, me and my friends quote that all the time, and like we have teams against each other. Like we play these games, and like we <laughs> we call ourselves um, Prestige Worldwide, and like we'll <laughs> enter the room and be like Prestige Worldwide. Why? And everyone gets so annoyed, but I think it's the funniest right. thing. So, I mean, that's my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I like really like action movies with me. I, I like, so like taking. I like all the like taking. Yeah. I like all the taking. Uh, Bad Boys Two. If you really know okay, yeah. Bad, Bad Boys, Boys Two is, is my movie. Like Bad Boys Two, my movie. Taken is my movie. It's one more I can't even think of right now. <laughs> so. John Wick is pretty good. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's like an action movie. Yeah. It's kind of like a Taken movie. Okay. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. I see yeah. it. I've I've heard it. Yeah, yeah. I don't really have any favorites. I just you just watch I whatever. Watch yeah. <laughs> If it's like when I when I'm home over summer or something, and like you know the movie channels, everything just like replays over and over yeah. again. I'll watch a movie over summer maybe six times. And it's crazy. I'll it's probably weird. like my third one. Probably be like I like comedy, like mm -hmm. Kevin Hart, Dave oh, Chappelle, yeah. Cat Williams. Of course, yeah. Kevin yeah. Hart funny. Kevin yeah. Hart's my favorite probably. <laughs> yeah, by he's far. funny. I watch all his every movie he had. Kevin Hart, I watch it all. It's he's funny. What was the one where he was like? It's a deer, bro, or something. <laughs> like you were talking about. I saw that one in theaters. That was probably my favorite one by far, though. It was a stand-up show, I think. It, yeah. was, it was a stand-up one. Yeah. I forgot which one it was. He's it was like, throw some fire one. on him. Like, the fire. <laughs> and it, it, yeah, yeah the, the fire, fire would go. Was, it was kind of. Uh, mm. It was a uh, thing. It was, it was the like, one when he was the when he was trying to be a cop. I forgot the Kevin Hart movie. He was trying to be a cop. Oh, uh, let's be cops. <laughs> It's no, it ain't that one. It's um, <laughs> it was with uh, with Ice Cube. Ice yeah, Ice Cube. Yeah, that's Let's Be Cops. Oh, it was one of them. Ride oh, along, Ride Along. 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 I like Ride Along one and two. That was a good one. That was a good one. Mm. I never actually like sat Black Hammer recorded some Black Hammer. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. That was funny. I was that really, was really funny. confident in that, answer. I'm kind of embarrassed. Is it? Is Let's Be Cops a movie though? I think it's a movie, right? Okay. So it was. But how was y'all finals the last semester? They were. I just had a lot. I'm a communication major. Yeah. So, just I had a crap ton of papers. <laughs> like it, and they're long and lengthy. And one of my teachers was like, "Oh, on top of your final exam, we're gonna have an eight-page paper due the same day." And I'm like, oh. "I'd have dropped that class." <laughs> <laughs> is that you? Know that who class. Giovanna Iceberg is? Yeah, I know who Giovanna Yeah, the family. It was her, and I was like, Giovanna, you're supposed that. to love athletes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it was nice knowing uh, the two beautiful ladies right here. We got Tisha, we got Chelsea. I mean, it was nice knowing them. Uh, we definitely have more episodes throughout the summer, so stay tuned. We, we all will be hosting different ones, different students. I mean, stay tuned to Facebook Live. Go Lobos. <laughs> <laughs>